All right, good morning, afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Y'all know the regular maintenance that we talk about when we open the show. Um, and that is you can email the show at the mental house TV at gmail.com. You can make your donations to the Cash App. Um, Khadija Amwar 59. Okay, Cash App. Well, dollar sign Cash App Khadija Amwar. I mean, yeah, 59. So, you can do that and you can make donations to the channel, or you can uh, again hit the email mental house TV at gmail.com. Thank you. For those of y'all who have donated already, I appreciate it. And uh, it will not, not go unused and not back into the program. So I appreciate it very much. Y'all, I want to uh, talk right now, though, about the to the New York residents. Because this is pretty important. Y'all got to be on high alert. Those of y'all on the East Coast, well, those more specifically in New York, um... Because they are worried about this storm that's coming your way. Okay? And you guys just got over, um, you know, that big storm. Well, hell, that real bad weather a month or so ago. But y'all on high alert, flash flooding tonight, just weeks after eight people died um, in that hurricane. Whatever. That bad, bad, bad storm y'all had. So flood flash warnings have gone into effect once again as a cold front is set to bring potential floodings to the East Coast, hitting areas like New York City. Just weeks ago, at least eight people died in the Big Apple back on September 1st and 2nd. This time, Bill de Blasio, the mayor, promises to over-communicate flash flood warnings in an effort to avoid the disaster that occurred earlier this month. On Thursday, the cold front will bring long, long-duration storms, flash floodings from Virginia to southern New York, where flood watches are continuously in effect. The NYPD said that uh, they performed 69 water rescues and a total of ooh, 166 road rescues during the flash flood earlier this month with 500 vehicles left abandoned. Flash flood warnings went into effect again as rain and cold front are expected to hit the East Coast for the rest of the week, hitting areas like New York City, where just weeks ago eight people died in the citywide deluge. All right, y'all in New York City, uh, hope y'all safe. Um, Shout out to all my peeps in New York, Rita, and Nancy. Y'all better be safe. Um, look out in that area, Danielle. This time, New York, um, Bill de Blasio promised over to communicate flash flood warnings to avoid disasters earlier in September. In the aftermath of Hurricane Ida between, um, uh, uh, September 1st and 2nd, at least eight New Yorkers, many of whom lived in the basement apartments, died from the flooding. Wow. Um, de Blasio said, um, I said they were, we were going to do things differently from now on because we are dealing with a climate crisis, he said. You know, people don't believe that global warming, though. They don't think it's real. For the storm coming later on tonight, or today, we're going to over-communicate and let people know, even though officially this looks like a limited storm, we've learned over and over again that projections are not always right. So it is better to be safe than sorry. Well, I'm glad the mayor is taking super precautions because it's important. Um, Just like uh, in Detroit, the storm dropped one to four inches of rain with motorists forced to maneuver their vehicles through flooded, flooded streets. On Thursday, a cold front could bring long-duration storms and flash floods to attend states 
from the Midwest to the Northeast, all of which are currently under flood watches. I'm going to make sure my state, the city ain't one. Um, a cold front produced deeper clouds that warm um, that warm fronts and usually include more intense bands of showers and thunderstorms, which can turn in, and lead to flash flooding, especially in urban areas and areas with poor drainage systems. Wow. That's us. <coughs> um, I'm in a pretty old district. <coughs> I'm not far from um, the Pfizer Forum. But there's a lot of old uh, properties over here. <coughs> um, some of us are higher. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My um, my house is high. I'm on a higher land. I'm on a hill. However, um, you know, for people that are on a little bit lower, uh, flat, more even plane, it can be a disaster. Anyway, it says the um, the flood warning will remain in effect for the next 48 hours as Tropical Storm Sam threatens to become a major hurricane. Wow. Meanwhile, areas in the Midwest were soaked with uh, torrential downspores Wednesday as a separate slow-moving storm slammed into a number of cities. I mean, we had a little rain, but, you know, nothing like what you guys are about to expect, all those of y'all in Michigan and Detroit. Um, I think Saginaw was hit. But New York, y'all better look out. Philadelphia, Scranton, you know, all of y'all. Upstate New York, Woodstock, even down to the city. Like I said, y'all better be careful. Um, cause these, these tropical storms are no joke and tropical depressions, Peter and Rose are currently fizzing out over the Atlantic and will dissipate entirely over the next several days. While a disturbance off the coast of Africa is set to become tropical storm sound, which is expected to form in the Atlantic. Meteorologists said that the storm could potentially move away from the U S however, it's too soon to tell whether that will be the case. Hurricane Ida dropped six to eight inches of rain on large swaths of northeast while settling in an hourly rainfall record of 3.15 inches in Manhattan, according to Reuters. New Newark, New Jersey recorded 8.41 inches of rainfall during Ida, which is the city's most ever in a single day beating the previous record by more than 1.5 inches. Sam is the 18th named storm of the season and could bring winds for up to 45 to 50 miles an hour. Y'all have got to be safe out there. My prayers and my heart go out to y'all in New York City again. Um, be safe out there. Uh, oh, Sister Wilson, too. I forgot you moved out, too. Um, yeah, Sister Wilson, and I think you moved back home with your kids in Buffalo. So I hope y'all are, I didn't see too much about Northern. This is down, down oh, you moved from from uh, uh, the upper New York down to the city. Oh, so all of y'all, just be careful. Y'all, y'all, y'all in trouble, you know, and. I, my prayers go out to you because ain't nothing like water. The elements ain't nothing to play with. Nothing. Water is very good when you're thirsty and you're drinking and, and it's just, uh, but when it's too much of that stuff, enough to drown you, then you know the elements can, everything that's great about the elements can also be destructive about the elements and they'll take you right out of here. So y'all be careful. So with that being said, I just wanted to give that, sh uh, Quick note to y'all in the uh, East Coast, specifically the New York area, to watch out for the storm. With that being said, if you like what you hear, y'all go on and subscribe and share to this channel. And we'll see you. Um, and subscribe. I said sub share. Subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.